You can't even hear me because I'm muted. It's a great start to today's stream. Hi, everybody. We're going to watch this Nintendo Direct. I'm going to give you a quick rundown in the next two minutes of what I think is going to happen. I think the Smash Brothers character is going to be a Gen 8 Pokemon. I think we're going to see some Monster Hunter Rise, which I'm actually excited about. I had a lot of fun with that demo. More fun than I thought I would. I played it more than I thought I would. So that's exciting. I don't know if I'm quite there yet, though, to get the game. That makes sense? So we got that. I think we're going to get more on the Animal Crossing update because they were like, things coming in March. And so, like, I don't know if they're going to, like, wait to March to do it. They may not say anything about Animal Crossing, but they said in the first... Current games and games covering the first half of this year. So I figured they have to talk about Animal Crossing, the biggest Nintendo game out there right now. I think maybe we get a tease on the 35th anniversary of Zelda. I correct no. 35th anniversary. 30th anniversary. The 35th anniversary. I think we get a update on that a tease on that i don't think we get anything like super super big i think they will do a mario direct like the zelda though i could be wrong that could be at this one and then i think we'll see some jrpg of some kind that's my prediction coming close up to i don't think we'll see anything for pokemon i think we're going to have a pokemon direct on saturday or early next week Big anniversary for them in the Pokemon Club. Uh, Pokemon Club. The Pokemon Company <laughs> just likes to do their own thing. What it is, we're just going to stare at this Nintendo Direct screen until... Uh, yeah. 50 minutes. They're like, we're coming back and we're coming back with Vintage. Oh, here we go. Xenoblade? One day, Pyra just disappeared. Old Xenoblade Chronicle. That would make sense. That game's super popular. I still need to play it. I couldn't find it anywhere. It was as if she vanished off the face of all rest. Without a trace. Where have you gone? I really love his voice acting and Oh wait, maybe he hits for spam. This is where you were. Pyra! Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because I got an invitation to join Smash. Wow, really? Huh? That's wild. That's a wild choice for Smash Pyra. Poor Rex. Behold the power of the Aegis. Smash Flare! You powered up your smash attack with fire? Blazing Nova! Prominent Triple! Blazing N! That's genius! Oh, I think there's just going to be a lot of salty people on the internet real mad they didn't get, um, Ooh. 
her smash attack Mithra? Oh no. Mithra! Cutting it close, huh? Hey, uh, are these guys planning on me? Gee, I feel kind of bad now. Coming through! Lightning Buster! Fuzane! Ray of punishment! Throw with that! Weird. That's a very cool twist on a Smash Brothers character. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a fan of that. Aw, uh, Rex gets to be in the Smash attack. That's exciting for him. I won't go easy on you! Ooh, fighting words. You forget. We're fighters too! Alright, my phone's away. Sorry, guys. Smash Brothers, I can only get excited. Sephiroth. Never be excited about Smash Brothers. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. Okay. Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. Yeah, it's been a while, like nine, eight, 17 months, my dude. happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. We appreciate your continued support. Okay, what you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their moveset in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This fighter releases in March, so we hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Woohoo, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, yay, good. This game deserves to be on Nintendo Switch. That's exciting. It's like the perfect game for Nintendo Switch, actually. I'll probably play more of it when it comes. So hopefully get that shadow drop today. Excuse me, can we get those Joy-Cons, sir? I want pink and blue Joy-Cons more than anything and uh, don't have them. Stumble toward greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch. This summer, that's summer such a long time. All right, guys, I guess that's... You have 22 minutes before the solar system is destroyed. Venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. I'm going to move over here. After that, because they the seem to have put their the things up over. Annihilated. I don't know what this name. This, However, this game is called. Everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. By repeating these cycles you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch. Ooh, Outer Wilds. Summer 2021. Cool, cool, cool. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. 
Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Air. And oh, Club that's cool. Two deep cuts from Nintendo history are coming to North America for the first time. Yeah. in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense, drama. I'm kind of excited for seeing the visual novel. Under direct, we don't see You'll a whole lot of them. Seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. I mean, classic anime dealing with but amnesia. That's not the only case to crack. In the other game, you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? Really dig the... <laughs> oh, we gotta... Over Mario's face there. Otherwise, it looks like Mario's, like, sitting here. Club, the Missing Air and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind. Game sold separately, okay. Switch, May 14th. 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. A new age of battles begins. Okay. Okay. I don't know, someone's hyped for it though, I'm sure. The latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Okay. Unleash high-octane moves in electrifying 1 versus 1,000 battles. Oh, it's, um... Okay. In Samurai Warriors now I know what that is. Slashing its way onto Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. Between Strikers, Persona 5 Strikers and... The vast world of Fadiel beckons. What? After 20 long years, Legend of Mana featuring remastered HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. Seriously? You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. And I love this Before game when I was a kid. The world map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance. Why did story. I think this was already on Switch? Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new minigame, Ring Ring Land. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch, June 24th. Okay. I don't know why I thought that was up. Apparently. Or Capcom per Capcom presents Bond. Oh, that thing looks nasty. I don't like it. I'm gonna try to kill it, but I don't like it. Have to like it. I'm trying to kill it. Right. That mechanic's so fun.
I wish I was better at this. I guess I'll get better at it. Like, I have important news. But you get better at video. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. Fifty years ago, Kamura Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Malo. And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter is about to face the biggest challenge go, yet! Go. No! We can't lose this gauge! Pull yourselves together! Alright. I mean, that's a fair question okay all right i think i might be sold now i say that every time and then i start preparations right away we're here to offer assistance we must stop the calamity all right march 26th that's exciting we probably won't play a lot of that on stream because we'll be in the middle of like story of season that's coming out but Maybe when we're done with that, well, that or interspersed between, trailer, depending on how obsessed I get with rise from Capcom. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for badly the if they're me in the Monster Hunter series. That fox is cute. March 26th. Next, please take a look at this. Look at 30 minutes. <gasps> once again yes i didn't even put it in my predictions because i didn't think it could happen oh my god mario golf hold on i gotta tweet about this too because mario golf oh my god guys your time to think things through then swing enjoy golfing with familiar mushroom kingdom characters on courses filled with lush natural scenery i can't wait Oh, Mario Golf, yes, yes. I was just talking about this the other day. I just want more wanted Mario Golf. Now I've got it. Oh, yeah. I played so much of World Tour. In addition to button controls, you can also use Yeah, I'm never going to use the motion controls, but it's super cool. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf, including this one, Speed Golf. What? Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace your opponents to come Man. out on top. I can't wait to play as Rosalina. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Good. Did we mention story mode? As a character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop. Oh, I don't want to be as a Wii though. I guess it'll be fine though. Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Then allocate points to different stats. Allow yeah. you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test when Mario Golf Super Rush swings onto Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre-orders begin on Nintendo eShop after this presentation. June 25th. That's not not that far off. It's not the that close, game but in like Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy to learn controls. Heck yeah. I can't wait. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. I definitely. Let's move game on, on Nintendo to Switch. Nintendo Switch headlines. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. I've played this. The Hyperion Lackey Reese and the quick-witted con artist Need. Fiona as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five episodes filled with classic Borderlands humor. 
gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters. I just can't get excited about Borderlands anymore. Adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch March 24th. Fine, though. of Capcom's most beloved arcade classics are Oh, this is cool. Switch. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options to relive that sweet arcade goodness. Get 1943 The Battle of Midway for free, then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Okay. Co play so it's like one scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade I mean... Stadium launches later today. Oh, that's cool. There we go. Brains. As a zombie, you just can't get enough of it. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead Thumbs allies. the zombies still a thing? Arsenal, head, gut grenades, and more during your Has day. this always this been a thing? A thing like that never went away? The zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. It's Travis Touchdown versus Assassins. Wait, aliens? Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up, is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crass, beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the Okay. World. Travis Touchdown. Hey, hey, not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. I I'm so confused as to what this is. Gain the upper hand in combat. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. Hey. The fate of the world is at stake. So get ready to kick some, uh whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or yeah. All right, August 27th. Switch, that's... August 27th. I've never played a No More Heroes game. I feel like that's something I should fix. Exterminate demons in he heaven. What? As above, so below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. Checks out. Not what I thought it was going to be. Hmm. It's kill or be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. I like the art style. The character design. I think if I tried to play it, it God's judgment has nothing to do with it. Format. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon That's not in the first Coming six months Nintendo of the year, Switch Nintendo. 2021. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. Oh, this is going to be cute. Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon. Hi, Barbara. AKA Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and backup. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision, plus super breath. And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about the super life. We also have our school lives. And well, look at Harley. There's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. I'm sure there isn't. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. Hey, hey, I got a comment already. Nice. This is as close as I'm getting to style savvy, isn't it? Justice later. Uh oh, something really I'm out of the frame. running the city. No one could have seen it coming. But when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. We just gotta make sure no one figures out our secret identities. D 
DC superhero girls team power heroically source and an Nintendo That's Switch super cute. That looks super cute. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. Thanks for Another franchise I never got into. Complete edition? That's cool. Stop showing us cool combinations of Joy-Con controllers. That's where my my uh, priorities. Being mad at the uh, the Joy-Con combinations on the switches. Unlock every character, every costume, every prize. Okay. Us versus Zombie is Ubisoft, correct? No, Electronic Art. Pop cap. That's right. Who will join you in your adventure? Hint, anyone can. Band together on a quest. Oh my god, really? Save faces. Metopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. Stop. Cast me characters in various roles across the Stop. Game. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Get out of here. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Glam up your Mies and get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature. Letting you Very go cool. Wild with your me creations and make them even more fabulous. Very cute. In the world of Metopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen. Yeah, bonds. this was like the. Was it? This can give you an advantage during battle. Um. I'm looking it up right now. This was like if the. Your relationship sour though. Things might take a turn for the worse. Whoa. You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty barn good. Care for it, and it'll lend a hand, or poof, in battle. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp, Metopia. Coming to Nintendo Switch. May no, this was a game on 3DS. I was like, am I like losing my mind? That game was super fun. I remember playing it. Super Mario themed items are coming to your island. Okay, what about Brewster though? Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Oh, everyone's gonna the lose their mind. They can dress like Waluigi. I saw it. We all saw it, okay? Furniture items. So place them however and wherever you'd like. Oh, a Mario themed island's gonna be super cute. This is a lot of items. Then use them to travel between locations on your island. No. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? W warp pipes, really? The game launches February twenty fifth. What? After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March first. Excuse you. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. Stop. The war pipe's killing me. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. Unbelievable. How was that? There's warp pipes on the island, guys. Come on. Will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, last week. Yeah, we, we had the awesome game for the Super Mario 3D World plus Crazy. Fury game. We hope you enjoyed that Mario. So my Smash prediction well. was wrong. We did get more on Monster Hunter Rise. We did we get more on the Animal Crossing. Very excited, sir. This feels like Fire Emblem.
Oh, no. He leaves us no recourse. Swords! Never. S. Frost will answer for its crimes today. Are these the wages of loyalty? Ray Is this? Burnt corpses. You and no other must decide how we proceed. Your chosen path and must End. be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Okay. With these fields. Today you burn. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. Far, far away. So is this <laughs> of Norzilia. Okay, hold on. This is definitely deposits of uh, and iron. The constant feuds among the nations over these This is definitely bravely default and Octopath Traveler known as the Salt Iron War. Though the hostilities ceased with an uneasy truce, decades later the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remains. Caught in a tangled fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glenbrook Oh, I'm very excited. To save their kingdom from this the looks good. It's not coming for a while. It's got that weird Japanese name. In this new tactical RPG, battles take place on terrain with different elevations. A okay. attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can be extended by attacking from higher ground with long-range weapons oh, such as bows and arrows. Yes. Thus, okay. the forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. An enemy outflanked is susceptible not only to your initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? Charge I mean, this is giving me... To send them it's like everything I want in video game. Attack. We win. Ooh, okay. Attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Then electrify the area with lightning magic. Wow. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Survey the battlefield before taking action. And it looks like one of those things where there's three different plate ways you can do it. Choice and consequence. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Utility, morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Okay. Once more, I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So Crazy. They refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You will see what hey. true might is. Project, Project Triangle Strategy. Strategy. I've got to stop doing that. will launch in 2022. Also, again, not in the first half of this year, Nintendo. Come on. After this presentation, a demo version. Oh, there's a demo, guys. Okay. Available to download on Nintendo eShop. And in the future, we'll conduct a survey to gather players. Oh, I'm definitely playing that demo tonight. Your responses on the demo. I do like that they do that. Um, brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. I just wasn't expecting something like that cool. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? What? Oh wait, didn't we know this was coming? Oh wait, no. That. 
Star Wars Hunters is a competitive free-to-play online game set between episodes six and seven. Class Everything's set between episodes six and seven. Switch in 2021. All right, let's do this. All right, guys. Hmm. Do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Corgan love battle. Corgan use many weapons. Triple bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades like Gorgon. Powering crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. My line of work, bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. <laughs> Just once. Just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> Look, it's simple. Corgan want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. What is this? Wow. Actually looks really fun. Be the ball. Be the ball. Catch me. Roger that. Hands up, your highness. Be the ball. Lost it. Can't believe we're losing to a bunch of dairy farmers. Okay, team. They may have won the battle, but not the war. Uh, uh, hey. Can we redesign our characters? <laughs> not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone, not a bloody fashion show. It's always a fashion show, ma'am. Uh, what? Interview's over. Oh, come on, man, one more game. That looks cool. Looks like it could be a lot of fun. The fight for survival starts now. Hang on tight, because you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series. Yeah! Yes! Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. This looks awesome. When I saw it, I was like, is it a, um... The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. The one behind the whole game oh, yeah. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, <gasps> you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What oh, this looks like it's very the cool. The battle for survival begins in World's End Club. Venturing onto Nintendo Switch, May 28th. May 28th. Okay, we'll see. That looks awesome. Wield the powers of Olympus with the physical release of Hades. Exciting. You should go play Hades. It's really good. Dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year awards is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. The first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music composed by Darren Korb, known for his work on previous supergiant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32 page full color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters, all by Supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape the underworld again or for the first time with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. Three deadly action games, one masterful collection. Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. Okay. And Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. I'm never gonna play a Ninja Gaiden game, but that's cool for those of pe people Gaiden that like Master them. Collection. You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. 
wield an arsenal of killer weapons. Isn't this game really hard? That like part of its like thing. Along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing Or am I thinking of a different game? Combos. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. written DLC. God, I gotta finish this. I'm like almost done. I'm like just a couple things from the end. Expansion pack. I'm calling this as the wait available. Wait, you're not even gonna. Okay, um, we'll go back and look at that. Freeze on it. More coming to Nintendo Switch. I hope you were talking about the Switch. Bravely Default 2 is almost here. Very excited. Of Light will soon on a I really hope the that they don't do make the same mistake they made with the first game. Because that first game is fantastic. 10 out of 10. No, like 8 out of 10. Seriously. Um it uh but it makes you like go back and do the same dungeons again. So like I just were, I was just not. I just fell off after the like that repetitive part of it. Not do that. An updated demo is also available. Ooh, demo. The latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life. As the brave knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the demon realm. Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters. Barry for defense, Carrie for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Eight protagonists, eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay mm -hmm. features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Okay. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. This free -to -play That's exciting. Features Didn't we already did that leak or did they we know and just not have the launch cross platform hey. play and more. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all new legendary Pathfinder skin and 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. Plus, for the first 2 weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Okay. Fight for fortune, fame and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. I tend to like those games more on Switch. Just crawl. How's it going so far? Bunch of potatoes still for there. A little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Direct, so we hope you'll stick with us. Okay. Next, please take a look at this. I mean, we're coming up on like what? Five minutes? Ten minutes? Hello. Yeah! I'm oh my God! It's Zelda. Of the Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild game. No. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share. Right I didn't. Now. I thought you were going to give me old Zelda games. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Wind Waker, please. Skyward Sword. That's fine. 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 Yeah. I'm not playing this game if I have. Yeah. 
You won't catch me waggling a Joy-Con. Yeah, you won't catch me waggling a Joy-Con, so let's hope that they made it so you don't have to do that. ...released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. Hate this. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to Oh god, the fact that they're going so in depth into these motion controls makes me think that they are not going to controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. They are not going to have it so I don't have to do like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. And I just wanted, I wanted to play, to I really want to play Wind Waker on stream, but and I just, made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure that's, it can be that's where I'm at, I really just want to play Wind Waker on stream, and I hate. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Oh, it has to have, <gasps> I never thought of that. The stick down oh, I feel real down. dumb. You could never make a motion control Skyward Sword because the Switch light exists. <gasps> okay, I'm now excited. We are definitely playing this on stream. Get excited. Get excited. Oh! Oh! I need those Joy-Con controllers. Oh my god! The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people Skyward Sword is a cool game. game. It just has a combat system that sucked. Discovering the origins of the Legend of Zelda. July 16th. Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. That's exciting. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. Okay. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. It was. was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran. Even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear. That's true. I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Just give me Wind Waker now. Come on, Elnuma. Just be like, and one more thing. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Nothing about the anniversary. Well, what did you think? The That's Legend weird. of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. All right. Footage. Splatoon? Yeah. Splatoon 3? <gasps> no. Want that that one? Give me pants. Does she have a crossbow? Shut up. What's this little buddy about? Uh I can't believe this is actually happening, guys. This is this. I 
I'm so glad Splatoon is a such a like a beloved part of community and like I love this IP. I love playing it. It's one of the only shooters I can consistently play. Is that it? Is that the only teaser you're giving us? No gameplay, no nothing. Right? They're in Inkopolis. Yeah! I'm so excited, guys! Yay! She had a crossbow in her hand! She had a crossbow in her hand! Oh, this looks different. And yet the same. Now I just want to play Splatoon 2. Oh, next year. Bummer. But awesome. All at the same time. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. That's not a while. That's not that long. That's a year. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. I'm very excited. This was a very good direct. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. That was a very good Nintendo Direct. Good job, Nintendo. You didn't disappoint after 230 days, no, 530 days of making us wait for a Direct. I am so excited, which, so I think, let me put it on just, um, I think that, uh, it was pretty good. I'm very excited for split. I'm excited to try. Um, had that. Uh, project triangle strategy or whatever it's called. I am shocked that the. That the new Smash character is not the Gen 8 Pokemon. This could be super weird when poor Gen 8 doesn't have a Pokemon Smash. There, that I have. Oh, we saw a couple uh, visual novel or teams that were known for visual novels that looked pretty interesting everything it looked like there was like they did what i like when that they do with nintendo directs when they do the big directs is that like there's two or three things for everybody in their direct like a hard marketing message to harder marketing message than one would think to put together but nintendo has done a really good job at it 